Hey guys, how's it going? Comparing here. So, uh, recently in a few of the last videos you guys have seen uh, kind of like a deck tracker on the side and some of the Hearthstone games I've been playing. Kind of like that. And, uh, well, I wanted to tell you guys about it. Uh, I've been using the, it's called Hearthstone Deck Tracker. There's a few services that do this and uh, it's pretty interesting. I want to tell you guys about it. I'm not going to go into all the instructions how to set it up because most of them are out there. It's pretty clear cut. It's pretty simple. And if you're really not that interested in getting the software yourself, this is basically that video to tell you guys what's going down. So uh, the software is basically one that tracks some of the things that happen in the game. It does so through a, some kind of log that's created. I'm not sure exactly if this is like a personal log or whatever, but basically it doesn't really give you any more information uh, than generally, uh, as they have put it, what you can do with pen and paper and, uh, you know, this is basically confirmed by, by Ben Brode. It's okay to use this type of software. Uh, any app that duplicates what you can do with pencil and paper already is fine. So uh, the idea of the mod is not really to push for anything else. It's just, uh, well, if you play a card, it goes off of your list. And if you have a card in your hand, if you draw a card, it turns like a different color and you can track what cards are drawn on each turn. You can do a few other things like that, but basically I only use it for the, uh, the function that I wanted to improve, like the stream quality and the YouTube quality to give you guys a better perspective of what's going on in the game. I know a lot of other YouTubers have this in like post editing and stuff. Well, I don't really have that kind of time uh, because, well, I do all the editing for the YouTube videos, as you know, uh, and I thought it would be something pretty cool to have in real time. So I checked it out. I hooked it up on stream and the results, uh, well, I've been pretty happy about them. Um, this type of software, I think it makes you just a better player while you can do all this crap with you know, pencil and paper, track all the cards in your deck and cross the ones off that you draw the ones that are left in the deck. Doing that is not fun. Um, so this uh, this gives you the competitive edge without having to suffer uh, by tracking stupid crap. Now this is normally stuff that you track just if, you, if you're pretty good, a pretty knowledgeable, a pretty experienced Hearthstone player, you kind of know the cards that are left in your deck. And you guys have seen me quite frequently make plays and, you know, think about what I should draw if I should go for, you know, one situation or another based on what's left in the deck. You know, that's basically what this type of software facilitates. And I think it's really a big push for players who aren't as experienced as I am, uh, who, you know, are still learning the game. I think it acts as a pretty good learning tool. So uh, this is basically the software. Um, again, I'm not gonna show you guys how to set up, but you basically have your decks there. Uh, it's pretty easy to use with Arena. Uh, I think if you play a lot of different constructed decks, it's actually a bit more of a pain in the ass unless you don't change like anything between them. Yes, you can change between the decks all the time, but to create a new constructed deck is kind of annoying, at least for the way that I've used the program. But fortunately, I mostly play Arena and Hearthstone to uh, take a deck from Arena is really easy. You just um, go to the arena screen after you draft the deck, you go back out to the regular screen, you import uh, from arena game, and uh, it imports every single card, but it doesn't import the quantity of each card, so then you have to update that manually. But generally in an arena run, you have about like 28 different cards, and you have two duplicates of two cards. So it's like three clicks, you got your deck on the side, and you're good to go, and it's fun, and you know, it's cool. I, I really like the software. Um, there are a few issues with it. The first one is that it's uh, pretty taxing on the CPU. Um, I have uh, I have a pretty beast laptop thanks to iPad power. Um, but yes, it's a laptop. Um, if you are pretty knowledgeable in computers, you will know that even the best laptop basically compares to like a mid-range gaming desktop. Uh, gaming desktops uh, are just out of the league that laptops are in. So if I can run on my laptop, you can run it on a pretty decent computer, especially because I'm streaming on the laptop. I'm uh, doing a lot of stuff on the laptop. Sometimes I'm actually rendering video while I'm streaming, while I'm playing Hearthstone, while I'm running um, Hearthstone Deck Tracker. But there are a few things to make it easier. Um, I've disabled almost every feature that isn't the deck tracking in my Hearthstone Deck Tracker because, um, well, I, I just mostly wanted that piece of information 
on display on stream. Again, mostly for entertainment value. Um, and I changed some of the settings. Again, mostly just removing all the other settings will help improve performance a lot. But the other thing is uh, because it gathers information from uh, from the game, the rate at which it gathers this information from can be adjusted. Uh, you can go to uh, you can type that in your 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 search browser there in in Windows um, percentage app data percentage and then hashtag uh, backslash Hearthstone deck tracker will get you to this page. That's kind of hard to access if you don't uh, use that function. Uh, you can go to the config folder, open that with notepad, and once you're there, uh, you can search for update delay, and this is in milliseconds. It's normally set to 100 milliseconds, which means that the software checks for updates 10 times a second. Um, and I, I just set that to like 400. I don't know, maybe there's a better value. It's probably fine if you even have it at like 1,000, because, well, Hearthstone is not a particularly fast game. Um, so if you're experiencing performance issues, that should help. Uh, overall, my impression of the software after using it for uh, several days now is that, well, it's pretty cool. Uh, I like it. Uh, I think it adds in enough to the stream that just generally people like it. Um, I think the competitive edge is actually there. Um, I actually think that... Um, it actually gives you a little bit more information than what you could do with pen and paper because the system goes off of the log. Um, what happens when you, when you like just look at the Hearthstone client versus what happens in the log is sometimes a little bit different. So for instance, if, if both players have like confirmed their mulligan, um, you know, in the stage where you see the animation of your cards dropping down to the window, the game has registered what you would draw by going first, if, if you were to go first. Um, so, you know, that, that's obviously nothing. It doesn't actually matter that you know your draw like one second beforehand on the first turn. But um, this also works with like animation time. So, for instance, if it's like turn 10 and you're playing some asshole who's playing Grim Patron Warrior and he just got everyone in here, and those animations of everyone getting in there took up like 20 seconds out of the start of your turn. Um, in the game client, because it waits for all the animations to take place before your turn even starts, and then you visually draw the card, um, the Hearthstone deck tracker is aware of the card that you would draw regardless of whether the animations have ended or not. So in some cases, you would actually know your draw after your opponent has basically ended their turn, clicked the end turn button, and done all the animation sequences. While that's going on, normally in Hearthstone Client, you don't know what you're going to draw, but with the Hearthstone Deck Tracker, you can, if you have the turn, the cards green, if they're in your hand thing, you can actually know what you're going to draw. You know, usually it's like one or two seconds sooner, but I can imagine in a really, really extreme case, maybe you could know it like 10 seconds sooner. And that is a little bit of a competitive advantage, actually, where you would be able to think about your options and have more time than you otherwise would in the game. So, uh, yeah, uh, it's probably a little bit of a gray area, but uh, people have been using this crap forever, and uh, I think it's all good. And, well... I don't know. It's cool. I want to show you guys a game today. Uh, you know, it's just a pretty cool game uh, that highlights the use of uh, tracking your cards in Hearthstone and why it can give you uh, a pretty nice little advantage sometimes. So, I don't know. I think a lot of people use this software already, but if you don't, it might be cool to check out to see, um, you know, maybe you can get a little bit of a competitive edge trying this stuff out. Enjoy the video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. <clears throat> mm. Well met. I guess I'll play that. It beats up, uh...
Yeah, that might be get down, so I don't really want to attack right now. Don't you dare muster me. Okay. Because he coined there, he can't consecrate, so I don't have to play around it. That could be Avenge, because I didn't realize he would do an Imp Master here, so if it's Avenge, he wouldn't really want to trade here at all. If it's Get Down, he'll make some very specific trades. Oh wow, now it might be both. That's pretty cool. Worked out fine. It's playing like hyper aggressive though. Well, this could be a huge mistake for him. Where's that headed? Yeah. going to do it. Consecrate is not really that good here, and Consecrate is a card that generally counters Warlock. I have a feeling I'm getting sniped. Just look how fast he did that play when he didn't even want to touch the Void Caller last turn. Right? What if I had that in my hand? Feels bad, man. I better see if I can sub from King of Arena after this one. You guys are allowed to snipe, but it's uh, subscribers only, guys. Subscribers only. Well, sometimes I'm wrong, but in my mind, this is like one of the most obvious snipes I've seen. Look at that! Wow. Alright. Snipe top deck. For Blackwing. Reporting for duty. Got Boulder Fist. I don't like that enough. Alright, what portion of the deck is 3 mana or less? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Versus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 
So greater than 50%. Uh, I still probably have enough to defend myself. I'm going to go for it. Good thing I did. Thank you, Deck Tracker. VAC, VAC, oh my god! That was pretty sick, though. This guy's deck's pretty nuts, man. Like, what the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Is that a blessing of might? No. no I, I, I don't know. It must be a divine shield or something. Well played. The victory is yours. Rip. 